thing about the MMP11 is it gets a pretty good fast flow rate. I don't suggest using the very, very fastest flow rate because it's going to reduce the ionization. Plus, it's also not going to be filtering real well. But I do recommend the medium fast flow rate, which I have it on now. And I'm just going to move it up to level 2 now. You can see that the dial darkens up when I moved up to level 2, letting you see by color and also the flashing second, the number sec 2 there, that you're in the right setting. And I'll go ahead and take my sample. And let's do... And it cut the dial turned purple, letting me know that I did, in fact, go up to the third level of ionization. And I'm just waiting a few seconds for it to kind of settle in there. And then I'll take the sample. All right, next I'm going to you have to kind of turn off the water supply by pushing the same level that you were on. All right, I'm going to push it and hold it at the level three. And then let go. Now it is coming out at the strongest turbo mode. I'm going to slow down the water flow to see if I can't get the strongest setting or uh, alkaline and acidic water that this will produce. So this is the uh, alkaline and then I'm going to take some of the acidic water. One thing I really don't like that beeping but that is a warning that you should not use this level very much. <laughs> you definitely should not drink at this level. It's too high for drinking. All right, and one other thing I should really just show you is the St. Louis tap water, and I'll do that. Is St. Louis tap water comes in pretty high alkaline, and if you've seen my videos before, you've seen St. Louis tap water a million times, but you'll just see it a million and one. Or you can just fast forward through this little section. <laughs> so let's see. I don't know why these wires always want to cross over each other. All right. Um, so the pH basically of St. Louis tap water is pretty high, and I, I just wanted to kind of show you that. We have a lot of alkaline minerals in our water in St. Louis, so it comes in about a 9.6 pH. And then level 1 brings it up to about a 9.8 pH. And level 2 brings it up to about a 10.2 pH. Level 3, I should probably angle this a little better, brings it up to a 10.7 pH. And then the turbo mode brings it up to about a 10.9 or 11 pH. Okay, um, I actually I'm a little surprised that it didn't bring it up to higher pH and then I was kind of thinking the MMP 11 plate ionizer would bring it up to 11.5 pH. But my hard water is, you know, sometimes just depending on your water, so oh, you know what, I was going to test this acidic water too. <laughs> okay, so the acidic water is coming out about a 2.8 pH or 2.7. Okay, that's a nice low pH and that'll kill germs pretty much on contact right there. Um, and the high alkaline will emulsify oils. Um, I, it's, it's actually a, a very nice water ionizer. The fact that it works at a high flow rate is, is a great perk for this ionizer. Most ionizers work at a medium flow rate and so uh, it you know if you, if you have a health club or doctor's office or you know something where you you have customers who want their water fast 
it's it, or if you just want your water fast um, this is a good choice and honestly getting your water fast is not the best for filtration but if you're not concerned about that this is actually a good choice all right so st louis water is oxidizing but not too terribly bad positive 274 which is is actually good compared to water all right now the level one is close to a zero it's it's not oxidizing or antioxidizing and a little surprised about that I would have expected better and the level two though is really good and what I, as you could see I did not program level one up to the highest um, it could be because level one is just an introductory level and um, so while you're being introduced you're not going to get as many antioxidants but that's okay your body does need to adjust to the new pH levels slowly so you could see going from one uh, tap water to one to two to three to four that they all increased the pH and this level two is very good it got like a negative 600 ORP and let's see what level three is it's going to be higher than that and that's really awesome and keep in mind this this was a fairly um, you know medium fast flow rate so that is an excellent ORP right there like a negative 800 ish or higher than negative 800 now there's probably no point in doing ORP for the the uh, highest alkaline because you really should not drink that and I, I just don't want to encourage that at all but okay this is the uh, new Tiant MMP11 and it is a good ionizer I recommend it and click the link below this video to see the full blog post and it will have links to comparison videos and things like that that I'm planning on doing in the very very near future so stay tuned I will be comparing the MMP11 by Tiant uh, with the Enagic SD501 and with my new LG Electronics water ionizer which is called the Smart 2 water ionizer and then um, I'll also compare it with uh, the the Samsung water ionizer which is called the Vesta and you know uh, this you know these are uh, you know my ideas right now and I might compare it with other things later on but um, it'd be good to see those comparisons and um, so look forward to that as well thank you very much